Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 2 Expansions. I'm still me and in the last episode, Kevin cooked some chilies with a very strange expression and Rose got asked out on a date by someone she didn't know. I'm just going to tilt down. Oh, not quite that much. Just a midge. That'll do. Right, um, so the family is sort of winding up. Can't remember if Kevin's actually done his, he has done his garden arising for the day, that's good. Um, he wants to do all kinds of random nonsense that he's not going to do. Um, so that's cool. Um, dogs are sleeping and chewing on things and then sleeping. Sophie's off to bed, Rose is off to the toilet, and then we'd have a book and then off to bed. And Kevin is probably just off to bed. Now he wants to adopt a dog. We've got two already, a silly thing. Well, two and more on the way. Okay, so that's happening. I need to think of something for Kevin to do. He can... He wants to give Kofi... Send the Kofi. Sophie a gift. So he can... Magic one of these apples... Into something nice and gift-like. Apparently one of his plants has died. How unfortunate. Oh yes, the lettuce plant is dead. Oh dear. You will be missed, Lettuce Plant. You will be missed. Where the bloody hell are you going, Kevin? The table's over there. What? Are you, what's he doing? I don't know where he's going. Um. Apparently he's going to use his... What the hell, Sophie? Did I, oh, did I send her to nap? Damn it. The second time I've done that. Leap. Goodness. Oh, Rose, did you break something? You broke the toilet. Unbreak the toilet. And then continue reading your book. We got a seat. Well, I'm sure that will be useful, but not right now. So pop that in your pocket and magic another apple. Look, it's a phantom apple. Another seed. God. Enough with the seeds already, Kevin. I know you're now a, a very keen gardener, but still. Stop magicking seeds. We need something actually useful to give to Sophie. And Rose is apparently now a good plumber. Jolly good, Rose. Where's your handiness? Plumbing objects repaired by them never break again. How handy. Another bloody seed. Stop magicking things into seeds, Kevin, darn it. Apparently we know what this one is. The grape seed. Okay, well, very good. M more apple magicking is required. Come in. Really? And now you can't even see the apple. You can just see its shadow. There we are. Where are you going? Oh, trying to stand back a little bit. More seeds. Enough with the seeds already. Jeez. Okay, let's try converting something else. Convert one of these. Oh, see, those turn up on his bedroom table perfectly. You made them worse. That's all you did with them. God, you're rubbish. You've totally lost the neck of that, haven't you? Goodness gracious. 
She wants pet Monty. And she wants to go on a date with Pip. Actually, I could have just bought the stuffed animal. That would have been more sensible. Oh, well. Since when have I ever done things sensibly? It's a bit less relevant when you go to sleep, really, because you haven't got work anymore. Dogs, I hope, are sleeping. Sleeping and sleeping. Yes, good. Um, That's not the right book, is it? Well, yes, I know that. Thanks, game. Yes. Yes, I know. You already knew she was pregnant because it played the fancy music. Is that the book you've already been reading? Oh, you've finished reading it. Okay, fair enough. Read that one, then. Why do you have to get off your bed? That's kind of dumb. Oh, well, whatever. Actually, you should probably go to sleep. I'm being so indecisive. Really? You have to get up again? She wants to eat cobbler with watermelon. Interesting. Apparently she wants a girl. Although I don't know if that actually works. I know, supposedly, I, I don't know any, if there's actually any truth to that, but supposedly if you have your Simsy, um, why are we not going to super speed? Because Soot has woken up. Oh, wow, she is full of energy already, jeez. I sent her to sleep way too early, um, okay, yeah, as I was saying, um, What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yes, um, supposedly if you have your sims eat watermelons, then there's more chance of baby being a girl. Can we move that dog out of the bathroom? It's annoying me. I wonder if Sook can still find stuff while... Yes, she can, good. Oh dear, Annie, Nix, and Rose Fitby are no longer friends. Damn. Become friends with Annie. Yeah, we'll, we will do that. Because we need to do it anyway. Actually, I should have got rid of that one and put the date one in there instead. Oh well, I don't know if I ever done things sensibly. Right, go eat food. Food? Where is the food? Stop sniffing at stuff. Go and eat food. Well, there goes the dog. Where did it go? Probably to stare at our plants again. Or is that it there? I don't know. And then once you've eaten, you may as well go find me things in the dead of night. Monty, when you wake up, you need to wash. You need to eat food, assuming it leaves you any. So when are you all waking up? 6am, 6am, 5.30am. Which in reality is going to be more like, sort of, 2 in the morning. Apparently Sophie and Rose are no longer friends. Well, damn. Wow. They started off as friends, gee. Damn. <laughs> she knows Kevin. Oh, Monty, why have you woken up? What the hell, you hardly slept at all. Damn dog. Oh. She can't run now, can she? She's going to be really slow at finding stuff. Ah, oh, well, doesn't really matter. What the hell? Why are you not eating food? Oh, there isn't any. That's a pretty good reason. To be fair, that is quite a good reason. So whoever's waking up first, probably Sophie, filled the food bowl. When you wake up, you want to meet someone new. So Kevin has work in the morning, I think, yep. And he, for some reason now, doesn't know his co-workers anymore. 
He needs to know Count Snipe more. And he needs to know Aiden more. They're old friends. As opposed to distant friends. I don't know what the difference is, but okay. Got rid of that wish because it's probably quite tricky to do anyway until I move him in. Blimey, teleporting dogs. I didn't know that happened. Meat. Yes. So where have all our dogs gone? We've got two over here. We've got... Hmm, we can't tell. We've got doggy gnome. Yet another doggy gnome. But not another doggy gnome. Oh, the, the another doggy gnome is over there. There's a saw. Monty is hungry. And Sophie is just about getting up. Nothing in the mail yet? Well, of course not. It's three in the morning. So, stop being rubbish at finding stuff. Go to the toilet. Where the hell are you? Wow, you went a really long way. Why did you come all the way over here? I don't know. But anyway, find stuff. You're almost up. You two are both also almost up. And... Saw a deer. Very good. There we are. She's up, and she wants to buy a dartboard. <laughs> Rather a strange thing. Give friendly hug. Okay, kind of a random one, but okay, I'll, I'll roll with it. Need leftover ceviche, don't set the house on fire. Poor Monty, he's all hungry. Hmm. Well, there go the sprinklers. I wish I had lights like that so that the entire room just got lit up as soon as I got near. That'd be really handy. If you've done that now. Yeah, that's going to be annoying that that keeps happening. For getting startled by the toilet, and Kevin is up. Well, he can eat. He can serve some pancakes so that we don't have to deal with spicy food all the time. We should have time to do that before we have to go to work. Lovely. I love how they always elbow the door closed, even though they have, you know, a spare hand. Blended pancakes, apparently. Wouldn't that kind of destroy all the fruit? And then why mix it? There's no need to mix it, you've just blended it. You are a strange person, Kevin. Sorry, but you really are. Um, <laughs> Sophie appears to be getting startled by the spiciness once again. You are now getting up. Even if you weren't, you are now. You can come down and eat some ceviche too. Oh wow, you are really all kinds of messed up, Monty. Get up. Woo, blimey, Kevin's doing fancy flippery again. You on the squeak toy, yes, you can do that now. Uh, apparently, Sophie is practicing being a mime artist. <laughs> that was really weird. 
Um, yeah, you can go and... where's your book now? Oh, you need to start a new book. Uh, let's see. So we've, we've had... where's the written books thing? We've had a sci-fi, two horrors, a mystery and a children's. The mystery seems to be pretty good. Let's write another mystery. Actually, no, let's... no, let's not write a romance. Let's write a poetry book. Start poetry novel. Technically, I don't think it can conceivably be a poetry novel. Apple pancakes. Don't grab a plate. Rose is now actually visibly quick. Can't people get more coming in now, that's fine. Soot found something pointless again. Soot, stop it. Just come home, you are home. Come in here. Right, now you may grab a plate. What would you like to name your new book? Um... A Thousand Pointless Finds. And then we'll do a mystery novel of the myth about being called from to be asked out on dates by people you don't know. Although, Ooh, she wants to make the stove so. self-cleaning. Please don't set anything on fire, Rose. What are you barking about? You're just having a bark. I've just noticed Soot ate her food standing up, and Monty sort of lying down and nibbling at the edge of the bowl for some weird reason. Oh, bugger it. I think we may have a problem. <coughs> Kevin, eat food very rapidly, please. Ta. We may have a bit of a problem. No? Okay, good, we're fine. We are fine. Um, right, well you may... You may make this self-cleaning since you want to. Oh, apparently you were already part way through doing that. Uh, we won't improve to meal quality, so just clean it instead. Kevin's carpool is here. He is all fine and ready to go. Change into his fancy suit, and off he goes. Uh, Monty, you need to be outside, and then you need to murder squeaky toys. And I'm sure Soot's tail just moved while we were on pause. You're doing that. We're not doing that. You're doing that. And then you can talk to... Rose when she's done. Oh, that was quick. Lovely. Um, so stop writing your poetry book and friendly. Um, ask about day. Chat. You know all the all the usual nonsense. Stop it. Having another bark about something? She's hungry again. Jeez. Hang on. So she runs to get food, but she doesn't run to find stuff. To become friends with somebody. Fine. Work. She wants to write a book worth money. Well, I hope is that wish is still there by the time we finish. Getting to know where is a bit more. Um, gossip. Announced pregnancy. I think she pretty well knows. 
Freeze the laughing werewolf. Yeah, do that. The hot spot the toots are you going to be rocking tonight. Very good. I find it amusing that uh, Sufi likes Kevin's cookery and Rose doesn't. The, the game really is trying to, to push that at me. And Rose wants to prove I'm there. Why aren't there more spots for wishes? God, okay, don't do that, do that. Yeah, hurry up and finish talking about art, please. Or don't, either one, whatever. Um, thank for cleaning, I guess, does she clean the stove? Um, share secret, I don't know what that does, but do it anyway. Oh, Kevin, you need to suck up to the boss. Please, what about that? Who's this having a... Oh, they're playing. Well, that's fine, I was going to have them play with each other anyway. You know what? My favourite colour is pink. That's hardly a secret. What I just do, I just hit the I button and something happens. Oh, we lost the inventory. Come back, inventory. Answer your phone, Rose. Hello? This is Pip. Damn it, Pip's fine. He will come over. I'm kind of curious as to where she's going to be going. <laughs> that should be fun to watch. Um, anyway, you may as well carry on writing your book, since you're not going anywhere. What, are, you, are you going somewhere? I wasn't paying attention. Where are you supposed to be going? And where does Pip live? Bangul? That's not who we want. Uh, the Macduff? There's a hell of a lot of people in there. Hopcraft? I don't know where... I don't know where Pip lives. Of course he lives right at the other flipping end of the town. Of course. Well, I can't be bothered to go to him. He can come to us. I'm lazy like that. And I can't be bothered to have to wait for everything to render all the time. Tax season is quickly approaching. To better prepare, your boss wants you to read Yay Tax Shelters. You'll help save the company big simoleons, get on your boss's good side, and do your career a favour. Jolly good. Pip will come over in a little while. You now need to chat at the water cooler. And I don't... Oh, you need to play with Monty, actually. Monty knows you quite well. Yeah, you love Monty. Only Monty wants to watch TV, by the look of it. Stroke, all that good stuff. Oh, he's not lonely at all. The dog complaining for no reason. I'm sure that can't be a good thing to do when you're pregnant. Oh well. Who wants to sniff Rose? Uh, friendly lick. I just want to see what this does. Carver what? The Carver will bloody well not come in an hour. He's on Lee, damn it. Stupid TV people. It's the doorbell. Oh, it's Pip, right. Um, yes, you'd better go and let him in. Actually, so... Why does that always happen? I, it was not a date. In any case, Sophie, let Pip in, would you? Although he seems to sort of let himself in by the look of it. Oh, I stopped her from moving, of course. Right, yes. Uh, continue writing your thousand points times. You've now been licked, so go and... Bloody hell. That's a... God, that's a way to start, isn't it? Um, just... I really want him to come in the house, but apparently he doesn't. He changes clothes, again. Random clothes changing. 
She wants to watch a movie. She wants to buy a high chair. And she wants to take Monty for a walk. Monty, can you... You are now very happy about stuff, so go and find things. Just why... That's lurking around park benches. That's, again, interesting. Oh, hold on, you idiots. You're standing in the way of the door. <laughs> what are you doing? That is not where I... Where are you going? Not at all where I told you to go. Just go in here. Finally, Pip follows in. God. Um... I still don't understand why she can dispel the rumours, because that's just dumb. Um, and she wants to kiss Pip. Fine, 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 we'll do that. <laughs> what the hell, Soot's come to watch? Oh, well, please get to put it outside a bit, Soot. What do you mean you can't go there? Yes, you can. Now what? Make out with it. Jeez. And where's the... Oh, there it is. That, that can't be a good thing to do. Ooh. I don't think it's February the 29th, Rose. No, oh, he doesn't seem to mind. So, what are you doing? Stop doing random things I don't want you to do. Go and do that. Gee. Congratulations, Rose and Dip are now engaged. And now Rose immediately goes to fill the food bowl for some strange reason. <laughs> It's the way to take her mind off what she's just done. Oh, bachelorette party. Why the hell not? Oh, gee, Sophie is now stressed. She can... She wants to buy all kinds of stuff. She can just paint a medium-sized painting. Now, Kevin, do you know your co-workers now? Yes, you do. Power work. Oh, bloody hell. Pip goes shooting off. Oh god, all Kevin's plants are dead. Oh, of course he's going to play in the stupid sprinklers. Can you, like, join him? Join, play with water toys, that'll do. What is he doing? He's just standing there. Oh. And now he leaves. Well, <laughs> as soon as she comes out to join him, he buggers off. Oh well, whatever, read the other book. That's not leaving, that's reading a book. Pip, you're a very strange person. He says he has to go to work, and he immediately sits down to read a book. Meanwhile, Monty's just found a rather big rock, which we can sell. That's not leaving, that's just... And they don't even sit together, either. That's... That isn't leaving, Pip. Silly. Oh, well... He wants to play hopscotch, Kevin. Well, we haven't got a hopscotch thing. Anyway, uh, with that done, I think we'll end it here. See you next.